What's good, everybody? It's your man, CJ Kyle's checking in once again, a.k.a. the High Value Nurse, back with another video. You can live pretty well by yourself. So I wanted to talk to y'all today. Y'all see the title. I wanted to talk to y'all about how to balance a 60-hour work week as an LPN. Now, let me just start this video off by saying that this is very, very person based. Not everybody may be able to pull this off based on their lifestyle. Now, if this is your first time here, let me give you some background about me. I'm an LPN uh, that's getting ready to start school uh, within the next month and a half to get his RN with the bridge program that is eight months <clears throat> um i also have no children and uh i don't have a lot of things that require my immediate attention outside of nursing so that plays a big part in why i can work the way that i work but also there does come uh there does come an awareness too. You also have to be balanced, and that is the key word. And excuse me if y'all can't really see my face in the, in the light if it's dark. I got both lights on and I'm not moving, so <laughs> just enjoy it if you can. But here's the thing. So like I said, I have no kids. I don't have any real immediate responsibilities outside of nursing that requires my attention like that. So that is, a, that is a reason why I can, I can work 60 hours a week and not feel totally exhausted. Um, before I get into that, I would like to invite you all to subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> we are almost at 1,600 subscribers. So I want to thank you all for rocking with me. Um, and with that being said, let's get into it. Now, for those of you who are unaware of the YouTuber, image consultant, uh, Kevin Samuels, it recently came out that he passed away due to hypertension. Now, uh, hypertension is another word for high blood pressure. High blood pressure can be caused by a number of things such as stress, lack of sleep, bad diet, being overweight, not exercising. A number of things can cause high blood pressure. But the thing about high blood pressure is that it's very preventable, right? And with working a lot, you can add a lot of additional stress to your body. So that is why um, if you are somebody who is not used to working a lot, if you choose to work that many hours, I would just go into it by saying that you have to make sure that that is the right decision for you. You have to make sure that your lifestyle can accommodate those kind of hours. And you also have to be balanced. Now, again, this video is about me showing you how I balance working 60 hours a week. And I just told you all those things that I that I don't have. I know a lot of you all have children. A lot of you all, you know, have a lot of major responsibilities outside of just being a nurse, healthcare professional, whatever you may be. So that is why I say this is very person-based, person-specific. And I just want to give you the game on how I do it. But I brought up Kevin Samuels because that goes to show you that you have to have balance when you're working like that. Um, and we have to be more aware and more conscious of the things that we are consuming in our bodies. 53 years old, um, you are not supposed to die of hypertension at 53 years old. You're just not. Um, that is an abnormal thing, you know, and that that could be caused by a number of things. Again, I don't know the man's health history. I do know that he's a he was a cancer survivor. So, um, but as far as his medical records, I don't know. But I'm just simply going by what the medical, what the reports have been saying, and it was that he died of hypertension. And first things first, how I balance 60 hours a week. I wanna say you have to eliminate all unnecessary stress outside of your life. If it's unnecessary, if it's, um, 
if it's not doing you well, if it's not doing you any good, if it's not bringing you any good to your house, if it's messing up your peace, let it go. Let it go. Because it's not going to do you any favors at the end of the day. Stress is a major contributor to high blood pressure um, and other ailments. And you want to get rid of everything that is causing you to be stressed out. So I say, number one, it is very hard to complete that uh, working 60 hours a week without uh, with being stressed. You don't want to do that. You want to get rid of all the stresses, all the additional stress out of your life because working as a nurse is stressful enough. So you want to do that. Number two. So here's how I do it. Now, my ideal schedule would be Monday through Friday, 12 hours a week. Now, that's how I was going to do it before school started. How I've usually, I've been doing like eight day, seven day, 10 day stretches. Now, five 12 hour days is 60 hours in a week. How probably when I get out of school, because I don't know if I'm going to go straight to the hospital. I may actually wait a little while to go to the hospital um, because I do want to travel the world for about a year. And then I'll go to the hospital unless the hospital will work with me or if I can get like a, a floating, you know, position or whatever. But I doubt they'll do that as a new grad. So um, I just really want to travel the world once I get done for a while um, for like a year. And then I'll come back, you know, you know, start that. But I'll continue to be like a per diem LPN and everything like that. Probably. I don't know. We'll see. A lot can happen. But anyway. Like I was saying, um, I kind of lost my train of thought. But when it comes to, um, dang, I really lost my train of thought. <laughs> what was I saying? I was talking about, uh, I was talking about traveling. What I wanted to do. Oh, okay. So how I worked it out? How I I would have worked it out was five 12 hour days, right? Uh, 60 hours a week. I would have worked Monday through Friday, you know, seven on, seven off. Well, at this job I'm at, it's uh, not seven on, seven off, but it's six to six or seven to seven or however you work your 12 hour shift out. But normally, as of now, with this contract, I work six to six. So, how I do it, I have to leave work. At a, I'll have to leave for work at about 4:30 to arrive by six o'clock because my drive with traffic is about an hour, ten, hour and fifteen minutes. So once my shift ends, it takes me about an hour to get home. So if I can get out of there by 6:30, 6:40, I try to be out of there by 6:40 at the latest, unless something you know just goes on. But normally I can get a, get out of there around 6:40, 6:45 if people come on time takes me about an hour and a half, an hour and 15 minutes to get home. So I'm home if I don't stop by the gas station or anything like that. I'm home usually by eight o'clock, you know, six, yeah, about, about eight o'clock. But then, you know, I will go to the gym in the morning, work out for an hour, hour, 10, 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So I will go from eight o'clock to nine, 15, nine, 20. Um, do my workout then I will come home and if I you know talk to my girl for about an hour then I'm back to sleep you know so that's 10 uh, 11 12 1 2 3 4 that's about four hours I mean that's about six hours of sleep I can get you know what I'm saying so it's just all about having that schedule plan being aware of the schedule sticking to the schedule um, but notice that I said going to the gym because I think that's always that is also going to play a major part in your success. We're well, working 60 hours a week. Some people say you shouldn't work like that. And that's fine. If that's what they believe. But I believe in order to get to a certain place in life, you have to put in the work. But you have to also have balance. That is why I believe in taking a vacation, you know, every 28 to 30 days. That is what. That is why I believe in going out of town and doing a recharge every 28 to 30 days. So that is the balance that I'm talking about. I don't believe in just working 90 days straight with nothing to look forward to. That's draining mentally. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's how I do it. Come home. Well, go to work. Come home. Work out for about an hour. Talk to my girl for about an hour, and then go to sleep. And we back at it. And then on the weekends. 
or whatever your two days off, you do as you please. You know what I'm saying? You go out to dinner with your chick or your, your dude, spend some time with whoever you kicking it with. Go kiss your mama. Um, I got to do a better job about going to see my mom, though. But go kiss your mama. Make sure she's straight. Go work on your businesses. Um, go work on your side hustles. And do what you got to do. Go see your friends. Have a drink. And then that's it. And you just repeat the process over again. Now, mind you, that process is not meant for everybody. Everybody can't do that. Because a lot of y'all do have kids. A lot of y'all have other responsibilities. A lot of y'all have parents y'all take care of. I get it. I get it. But the, this one is for the people that are more so like me. Who don't have children. Who don't have any major responsibilities. That's ready to get to the bag. You feel what I'm saying? And another thing that will help you be successful in working that many hours a week, one thing that I've learned is diet. It is hard to work those type of hours if you have a horrible diet. I'm in the process of cleaning up my diet with intermittent fasting, drinking a lot of water. I have been drinking a lot of water. Water has helped me out tremendously. So, um, why do people love to take? It never fails. It never fails. People love hitting me up. People love hitting me up when I'm uh, doing a video. But y'all know I shoot this one time, upload it, and it is what it is. But um, water exercise, that helps me a lot. Because I'm telling you, if I was just eating Burger King or McDonald's, and all that kind of stuff all day long, there's no way I could do it. Like when I was doing a shift last year, I would eat those type of things and it was hard for me to stay up on the way home and all that kind of stuff. Now I never have a problem driving home. I don't I never get sleepy driving home because I'm not up on sugar all the time. And we gotta be aware of the sugar intake. That's why, you know, I've said it before, but I really do wanna make health another priority on this channel and, and being in the best health you can be and uh, you know, getting your body together, getting your money right doing what you're supposed to do evolving you know what i'm saying putting that work in so you can eventually get out the corporate world of nursing and you know you can transition into something that you want to build for yourself rather it is in the world of nursing if you want to build your own business with nursing or do something completely different because that's the end game that's the end game but in order to do that you still have to put in the work so i just want to give a shout out to the 60 hour soldiers out there that's putting in the work you know what i'm saying and if you can't you do what you can do to get where you need to go so with that being said that is how i do it um now if, if i wasn't working my contract and i was working somewhere relatively close that's like a half an hour away that's even more time that i can have to sleep now on the weekends or on my days off i get my rest in you feel me i try to sleep eight hours and um work out try to get to do what i need to do upload content because you know that's passive that's that's gonna turn into passive revenue passive income and um you know just work other things out plan just do stuff that i like to do also you know you also gotta take a couple hours to just in engage in the stuff that you really like to do i like to watch marvel movies and you know what i'm saying i like to you know listen to music and listen to podcasts that uh, are entertaining and beneficial to what I'm doing so that's what I like to do when I'm off and I have some spare time and everything like that but school starts September 2nd will not be working 60 hours um, I'll probably be more so working 40 and, um, and that's just what it is I'll be going back to like a regular work week I'll probably be doing like I, I want to get I'm going to see if I can talk them into letting me do two 16 hour shifts of the week and um, if not, I'll probably just be working three days a week, you know, and just keeping it pushing, you know, three 12 hour shifts, maybe three 13 hour shifts, you know, stretch that thing on out your dick. But that's pretty much it, y'all. I wanted to talk to y'all about that. I wanted to also talk to y'all about balance, go see the world, go become the best version of yourself. And another thing too, and I think I'm gonna make this a whole separate video, but and I, know, I think I might even do a broadcast on it. But don't let people put their expectations on you. I ain't going to even say expectations, but put their limitations on you. Because people will try to do that. 
if you and I'm talking to the fellas right now, especially black men, if you are a young man and you have paid the price to build the type of lifestyle that you wanted, and that lifestyle affords you luxuries and all that type of things, you deserve everything that's coming to you. And don't let anybody tell you different. Don't let people say, oh, you need to live below. You need to do this. No, 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 no. If you have built a lifestyle and you have afforded the lifestyle, you deserve to get the things that you want because you have paid the cost. All right. I'm going to go more into that in another video or on a, a broadcast. But I just want to leave y'all with that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content and once again if you don't do nothing else if you don't do nothing else get paid young nurse get paid peace